Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents and welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to check out my website, which is waftingwonderfulwax.sensi.us where I'm Liz Quinn, your certified Scentsy consultant. So today I have for you my weekly what I have been warming video and I have a lot of wonderful things here. I've got a little bit of Island Days that I finished up the other day and then a couple of the things that are also in the total warm review of our new releases that are coming August the 1st. So I kind of split those into to this week and next week as far as the what I had been warming baskets. So I will get started with just a few things that I was getting through in the front room here. And a few days ago I did a mix it video so if you haven't watched that one and you like mixing concepts that is a really fun one. So I'm going to start with certain things that I was melting at the same time in the house. So my buckleberry, which was in our June Bring Back My Bar, which is a very strong saturated late summer berry bar. Mm, all that alliteration, summer berry, late berry bar, you know. Um, this is very nice unless you do not like the strength of it. And if you wanted a little bit more bakery and you just wanted to kind of chill out those really, really intense berries, mixing it with something else is highly recommended. So the brown sugar praline, I had a little bit of this left that I just needed to kind of clean up out of a clamshell. I put the two of these together. Some of them, I dropped a clam. Uh, some of them one cube to one cube in a warmer. And then I sprinkled more of the brown sugar praline just kind of in the house to soften the effect of all this really tart buckleberry. And these are beautiful together. So the brown sugar praline is one that's in my club. It's one I keep debating whether I'm going to keep in my club and there will be an edit at the very end of the month or after the Island Days collection is released to the general public, which is on the 25th, which I believe is next Monday. So next Monday, get on the website. I believe it'll be a one o'clock drop for us Eastern time zoners and get yourself those Island Days bars, which I still have a couple reviews here of a second or third warm of the rest of the clams of those. Mm. But anyway, the brown sugar praline is just a really nice, almost like walking into a coffee shop with lots of baked goods at the counter kind of a scent. It's not super strong. And it is one of those things where I now have several toasty, nutty, good bars in my club. Which ones do I keep and which ones do I give the boot? The performance on this is only medium and kind of soft and it mixes okay with things, but it's not my best, bit, best bakery mixer. So I don't know that it's going to make the cut. I gotta have a powwow with my younger child who keeps saving it from destruction. And then the other bar, which is definitely staying, is butter pecan. And this one is a beauty and it is not coming back this fall. It was in the catalog last fall and the last few fall winter catalogs that we had. And the butter pecan is like really rich, roasty, toasty ice cream with the nuttiness of the pecans. And I love it. And I just wanted a really nice sort of fall bakery type day, even though it's the middle of the summer. Because man, when you start warming all the new releases, you get very much the urge to do fall melting. So another thing that I was doing, and this was actually in the basement, was salted caramel cupcake, which was from January's Bring Back My Bar. And this, this is one of those where I like it, but I don't love it. So I'd gotten several bars from January, then it was in my club for a little while, but I did pull it to make room for other things that I liked better because this one has like the salted caramel, the yellow cake, the cocoa powder, and it's nice, but it doesn't have as much staying power. It's got more than some caramel bars for me, but the staying power of some of my better performing baked goods bars. And this isn't the one that was in the basement. <laughs> That's toffee butter crunch. See, too many different toffee bars. This one, I actually was mixing one cube to one cube in a warmer with caramel pear crisp. So the two of these together made a really, really nice fruit crumble summer scent because this caramel pear crisp for me, it's got like apricot and pear and it's too sweet and it just doesn't set all that well with me all by itself. But you put it in the same warmer with the salted caramel cupcake. I'm sorry, I just got the wrong pairing here for the wrong part of the house. These two were really nice. And I did this all throughout the main part of the house and then threw more cubes of salted caramel cupcake in other places just to kind of amp up that caramely goodness. It was a one day, very, very nice scent because the pear did prolong that sweet caramel so that they had more staying power together. All right, another one where I was doing mixing one cube to one cube in a warmer is pink rhubarb sugar, which is like so super sweet. It's very nice. It's got raspberry, it's got lemon sugar, and it's got the rhubarb and maybe even a hint of strawberry. Because I had the lemon sugar, I thought, wow, 
I bet you we could throw that in with squeeze the day and it was really good. So if you want kind of a strawberry lemonade or berry lemonade scent, do these two together. They're wonderful. And I'm going to put in a plug for squeeze the day. It's not coming back in our fall winter catalog. Probably you'll be able to get it as a brick and Scentsy club, but please club your squeeze the day or get a pile if you really love it because we never know when something retires like that, whether you're going to get it back in a bar the next time, like the next spring, or if they're going to get rid of it completely. So then another day, I really, really had a rainy day or I had a craving for deep scents. So cashmere and corduroy is so good. Last fall winter, we had a lot of interesting bars. This one at first I didn't like, took me a while to warm up. Now I think it's the best one that we produced last fall winter. So good. It's rich and deep and it's got like cashmere and it's got sandalwood and it's got bergamot and it is fabulous. So I loaded up so many warmers with this, it probably smelled like I wanted it to be October, but this is a scent that since it doesn't have pumpkin and it doesn't have spice and it doesn't have all of those, I kind of feel like I can get away with it any time of the year, even though it's more fall specific. So good, so luxurious. And I found out that it actually pairs pretty well with Southern Evening. So I put this in a couple of the back rooms and this has more mysterious notes in it, like cashmere and corduroy, you read the notes and you smell the smell and it's like there's more there than the notes. And with this one, there are so many notes that's a little bit confusing, but it has the most beautiful scent. So this has lavender, musk, fruits. It feels heavy and kind of almost like a drenched scent. Very nice for like a warm summer southern evening, which is why that's on the front cover. And it paired beautifully with cashmere and corduroy. And also I wanted more woodiness. So I also threw a couple of cubes in warmers to go with those two of World Traveler, which is very much oaky and berries. This was an August scent several years ago, August scent of the month. And then thankfully we had it back for Bring Back My Bar this January. Currently it is in my bi-monthly club. It may not be there for forever, but I definitely want more of it before I pull it. And it's one of those bars where I always debate with myself. It took many years to even see it, in Bring Back My Bar Boating. And I think this one only made the cut when they added those extra 10 special special edition bars in club. So do I really wanna pull this? Cause I'll probably never see it again. That's the debate with Sensi Club. That's how they really get you on the hook. Okay, another pairing, which this has been my favorite bar from a summer LTO. My only other bar that I like better from any LTO this whole year of 2022 so far is Relax. This tiara and coconut is so good for someone like me. I love Lush Gardenia. That's a really good gauge. If you don't like Lush Gardenia and you don't like coconuts for coconuts, you will probably hate this bar. Oh, it's got the citrus. It's got the tiara. It's got the coconut. It's like mm, so good. So I only had three cubes left and I put that in this room and then I used a little bit of coconuts for coconuts, which is similar, but more powerful. So like if the tiara and coconuts an eight out of 10, Coconuts for coconuts is a 10 out of 10 and you need like one cube to three or four cubes of this and your whole house smells like summer and like tanning lotion and like you really should be grabbing your sunglasses and your beach towel and getting out to the sandy side of the ocean or the lake. So good if you are like me and you want just this drenching your house it was so, so good. This is going in my bi-monthly club and I'm going to be so excited to melt it all through August. It's definitely not going to be good for the fall or the winter or even the spring, but I'm going to be melting this like end of April through the end of August really happily next year. Okay, another one where these were more things that I was just putting either in a bedroom or in my Florida room. I am almost done with this beautiful star fruit and freesia or star apple and freesia. And one of my other friends, Linda H, did the homework on what a star apple is. It isn't a star fruit, it's a different thing. So these pretty little purple guys that are on the actual cover, that's a star apple. I didn't know what it was. So I guess that the scent that is in here is that mixed with the freesia. I love this. I definitely want to get more of it. I don't know that I'm going to club it just because it doesn't have the greatest throw, but it has the prettiest scent profile. So if you like fruity, if you like this month's desert tropics, I feel like this is even better, but it's kind of in the same vein. 
really, really like this one and would highly recommend it if you just want a couple more things to kind of hold on to your summer during August. And then at the same time, I did some Bora Bora Blossom. I don't remember where in the house, a couple places. This is so pretty. And here's the thing. The Bora Bora Blossom, I would melt more times of the year than the Star Apple and Freesia because this one is a creamy tropical, but I think I'd throw it into my bedroom pretty much any time of the year, except maybe between November and end of Christmas. Because this is just a relaxing scent. It is sort of medium to medium light for me, but it's a good smell that I love. And if I didn't have this, I think I'd be comfortable putting this in my club. They're not exactly the same, but the scent appeal on this is so high for me, this Bora Bora Blossom. I think it has orchid, it's got violet, it has these creamy lush botanicals. It's kind of like Mahalo Coconut, but not exactly. And I love that scent profile. So this one is a winner for me. And I thought I was only gonna keep it in my club for a couple months. I'm hooked, it's staying. All right, now, how about the basement melt that I mixed up with the one earlier? Toffee Butter Crunch, which is my favorite toffee or caramel scent that Scentsy has ever made. Oh, so good. This came back in the January Bring Back My Bar. It's in my bi-monthly club. It is not coming out. This is walnuts and toffee and butter and all things amazingly decadent and fallish. And to amp up the butter factor even more, I put in several cubes of Stroop Waffle Delight downstairs at the same time. Oh, so good. Now these two do not last a super long time. So I got like three or four hours of butter and baked goods on steroids, and then it all just tapered right off and died. So the Stroop Waffle Delight is a super heavy hitter out the gate. And it's got the pecans and it's got the butter and it's got this little dust thing of cinnamon sugar and that Stroop Waffle cookie quality. This is so good. I kept it in my club when it was, I think, two seasons ago. They got rid of this bakery bar and people cried. And I just keep saving all the bakery bars. I mean, if you look at my club, it's bakery, it's holiday, and it's limited time offer. That's pretty much what's in there. All right, what else do I have? Oh. I finished up my last, I think, because I was looking for another bar and I can't find it. I think this is my last bar of Huckleberry and Clementine. Now, this got so strong after sitting for a few months that I am not really mourning the loss of it. Unfortunately, what started out as a lovely scent with a lot of Huckleberry, as it has cured, it got so strong with the strawberry vine that I actually had to add a little bit of Oodles of Orange to knock down the intensity of this. And then it made a nice melt combo, but I don't really want to have to fight with a note in a bar when I've got better ones. So that's not one I'm going to be going back and getting more of. Even, and I can't because it was a uh, January bring back my bar. But I was disappointed as that cured at how much more aggressive some of the notes got. Okay, in my basement another day, I did quite a few cubes of the beautiful sweet plum pastry, which I haven't talked about a lot over the summer. This is one of those bars that was in the fall catalog one time and then it just vanished. And the people that were in the know raved about it and put it in their club. And I'm not even sure if Sensi Club was a thing when this was in the catalog, but there was some sort of a first bring back my bar and I heard about it and heard about it and heard about it. And when I could finally get it into my club from a BBMB a few years ago, I did and I'm never taking it out. It's one of my younger daughter's favorites. So it's bubbly plum juice plus pastry crust. And it is like a comfort scent. It is beautiful. Sort of a medium level performer, sometimes medium strong. And it just wraps your house in bubbly bakery comfort. All right, now I've got a couple of one-offs here and I have four of the new releases that I saved for last. So Cozy Cashmere is another one of those where I'm evaluating. And again, my kids keep saving this from leaving the club, but it is very good. One of the things that I wanted to evaluate as a replacement, which isn't making the cut, is one of the new ones that I talk about in my warm reviews. And I'll talk about that one next week because I want to melt it a couple more times before I do the what I've been warming on it. And that's the white amber and silk. I thought maybe that would be good enough to be a replacement for Cozy Cashmere. It's like Cozy Cashmere has nine lives. No, the other one's not going to replace Cozy Cashmere. I think it's staying. So this is another one of those limited time offers. I've never seen it come back for voting and bring back my bar. It's not a bar that I love as much as my kids. I kind of want to keep cutting down the cost of my club, but how do you say no to both of your wonderful teenage daughters 
when they want wax. I mean, that's hard, at least for me, because you know I'm a wax person. So anyway, sometimes I'm just a little bit melodramatic on the channel, guys. Take me with a grain of salt. I am talking to sensey people. According to Patricia Gates, you guys are wax addicts. I know wax is not the most important thing in life. It's just a fun hobby. And obviously, if you are in a place where the wax, which is a luxury, isn't something that's practical, you have to make cuts. It is not something that you cannot live without. There are much more important things in life. Anyway, summer holiday, which there we go. This is so beautiful. This is my favorite spring summer bar. I have it melting in my bedroom and the back room currently. And if you haven't tried this, I would so encourage you to get a bar before the end of summer is over because this is just a scent that makes you feel like it's summertime. It's got orange, it's got vanilla, it's got tiger lily, it's got amber. It is just the most beautiful blend of happiness and summeriness. It's medium, sometimes medium strong. Some people say it's soft. I always find that it throws beautifully for me. So let's switch gears to the four new releases that I'm gonna talk about other than my warm review and my first sniffs. If you wanna chuckle, go watch the first sniffs video, which I have had to reload again because there were technical issues and some people were not able to watch it, but I don't wanna remove or get rid of any of your wonderful comments. So we just reloaded it a second time with a new thumbnail. So anyway, um, here are the other bars, these four bars I'm gonna talk about as new release. So I guess I shouldn't tell you what my ranking order is if you haven't watched my warm reviews video because that'll spoil it. So we'll just kind of mix these up. All right, this is the perfect day. This is one where I wasn't sure what I was gonna get when I warmed it. It has this striking top note resemblance to cocoa lime for me that's so weird. But when you put pineapple, margarita, and lime and mandarin in a fall bar, I don't think you should blame me too much. Mm. But there's also like bourbon and maple syrup and pears. And it's really, really happy. This is so nice. So it's gentle and sweet and comforting. Beautiful transition scent. I'm definitely gonna order this and enjoy it for at least the first part of fall. Very nice bar. Now here is the Sips of Cider. And I go to great lengths to compare this to other citrus scents that we have in that warm review video. This bar intrigues me because it has this flatness that I can't decide whether it's a plus or a minus with this bar. This has cranberry, it's got cardamom, which is really nice. Cardamom is one of those weird spices that changes things to my nose more even than ginger or cinnamon, which both of those are also in here. There's cranberry, there's, oh, blood orange, there's grapefruit, there's, I don't even know, it's the kitchen sink of citrus. And so it comes off kind of middle of the road. I think it'll be an amazing team player with many other bars that you could have for fall and it is very nice. It just isn't the one I'm the most excited about, but I will get another bar because I think late fall, this thing will really have its moment. Very, very good. All right, now the falling apples is phenomenal. I'm not sure the duration of some of these scents because I've been putting them in the warmer for several hours, but not letting them go for a full day or two full days because I'm trying to get all of them warmed in a timely manner to get out that warm reviews video, which already went up a couple days ago. But man, is this good. This is beautifully woodsy. It's got the acorn. It's got the pine cones, I think. Um, it has lavender. It's, I think it has pine and lavender. And it has all this apple. It is a beautiful woodsy apple scent. Nice and deep, nice and rich. Very, very nice to me. Like it's got all the complexity that Johnny Appleseed lacks. And I love it. And last but not least, the blackberry spice. Now I'm a spiceaholic and I like dark scents. And this scent smells very much like my recollection of Harvest Berry from ages and ages ago from Bath & Body Works when Harry Slatkin was doing their candles. It came in a purple cylinder and I loved the smell, but sometimes with a candle candle where you have the wicks, there can be a strange note that comes from the actual burning and that harvest berry had that. So it was so nice. And then you'd get the candle going and then you'd wanna blow it out because there was this note that came from the actual chemicals that spoiled the scent. So this doesn't have any of that because Scentsy doesn't have to deal with that because this is just a wax melt in a beautiful warmer like what is behind me. 
So this bar is everything I wanted that candle like 10 or 12 years ago. It's been a long time since they released that candle, maybe 15 years. I was so happy to get this because it's got those dark berries. It has these deep spices. It's beautiful. Again, longevity is the only thing I really can't talk to you about because I would pop them out every six, eight, 12 hours to get something else in to get those reviews done. And I'm very happy with this smell. It has the cedar. So my recommendation was doing this and cedar cider. If you really want that hit of cedar and it's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Or if you want to sweeten it up, maybe alternating warmers with like a black raspberry vanilla. So good. So that is my what I've been warming for the week. Next week, I will tag team the rest of the new releases and whatever else I feel like warming. I hope you guys have had a great day. Now, there have been reviews that have been going out from different consultants and maybe some of you have gotten your hands on the bars. What are you the most excited about for the new releases that are coming this um, next, gosh, what, almost two weeks or less at this point till August 1st? I'm so excited and I hope that you guys have a wonderful time. Please look through the current catalog. I will do one more video kind of recapping toward the end of the month, things to highlight that either they're retiring for good or there are things that maybe you don't want to be without fall winter because they're just really nice. Like maybe you want a couple more bars of this or a couple more bars of that. So I'll be talking to you guys about that. We'll be doing a club edit. Um, I should have a quarterly club coming at some point later on this month and that'll be a little smaller than the last time I did it because I got rid of all those fall winter bars when I found out um, at the end of June what was coming back. So this is Elizabeth Quinn signing off. Have an absolutely blessed day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.